Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be downloading and installing GeoDjango. So GeoDjango is the framework that we'll be using to create spatial applications in Python. So let us open up our web browser. Okay, so we'll search for GeoDjango installation. Okay, so make sure that we click on the GeoDjango installation link in the docs.django project. Okay, and then select Windows. Okay, so scroll down and then the first thing that we need to do is install this OSGeo for Windows tool. So click on the installer. Okay, and then under Quick Start for OSGeo for Windows users, we'll click on Download the OSGeo 4W Network Installer. So typically this doesn't seem to install when we're using, um, or well, doesn't seem to download when we're using Chrome. So what I do is I either use Edge or Internet Explorer. So we right click the link and then we copy the link address. And then we open up Internet Explorer. You don't have to do all of this if you have Edge. You can just copy and paste um, the link in Edge and then it will download the file. Okay, so just close this window and then select Tools, Internet Options. And then select Security. Uncheck the Enable Protected Mode. Select Custom Level. And then scroll down until you find downloads select enable and then enable the font enable the .NET framework and then select ok yes apply ok and then ok then close um, internet explorer and then open it up again ok in the search bar we can paste the link address for our OS Geo for Windows file. Select enter. Okay, so now it will uh, ask us if we want to uh, download the file. Select save. Okay, so the file has been downloaded. Um, open folder. Okay, so here it is. So I already have a downloaded file. So now you guys should have your setup file as well. So we can double click that okay then we will be selecting express install let me just close all the windows okay so we'll select express install and then click next and then just select the first link and then click next okay so now you will be given these options of tools that you want to select. So we will only be installing GDAL. So make sure that that is checked. And then select next. Um, yes, make sure that is checked. Install these packages and then next. And now it will download and install all our GDAL libraries. So this could take quite some time. So I'll just pause the video until the installation is complete. Okay, so the OS Geo for Windows installation has completed. So now I'll just select finish. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do now is to modify some Windows environment variables so that our GeoDjango application will be able to use the GDAL libraries. So let us hit the back button if you're still in here. If not, then um, search for GeoDjango installation and then click on the link again. So let's go back. Okay, so we are going to um, 
run each and every one of these statements in our command line prompt and then it will configure our environment variables for OS Geo for Windows as well as um, our GDAL libraries. Okay, so now let's open up our command line terminal. Okay, so what we'll do is we will just copy these statements uh, line for line. Okay, Let's see. Okay, so now let's select the first statement, copy and then paste, then enter, and the next, and so on. Okay, so now we will add these uh, registry modifications. So there's three of them actually. So we're not going to take it line for line. We're going to start here and then end at path. So copy that. Then enter. Okay, if it says the operation completed successfully, it means that the statement ran successfully. And then we repeat that for the next statement. And then the last one. Okay, so once that is successful, we can now uh, restart our PC for these um, environment changes to take place so we can close our command line terminal and then close our web browser and then we can restart our PC so actually um, we'll end the video here so just restart the PC so that all the changes can take effect and that will be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.